changing from the traditional hierarchical method of organization to a more submergent means by sophisticated use of data is not easy. Ideally, the order could be in the data and not in hierarchies of people, which often create roadblocks for innovation and opportunity. Having more sophisticated use of data could show how two people could work together. This could enable corporations to more easily work with schools and for individuals to find ways to orient and plan for working with them as well. It could also enable virtual organizations for new projects and initiatives that might someday provide the same sort of output that a corporation would. The future evolution, if ISIP becomes a part of it, might be some sort of hybrid where there exists some hierarchy for some time, or perhaps long periods of time, while new hierarchies form to manage the creation of value in a fair way. If I recall correctly, Bob Hogan, developing value networks for Centurica, thought that in peer-to-peer -peer production, there would still need to be some hierarchy to manage the creation of value. The decentralized information group at MIT is going towards the direction of decentralized web apps with the linked data platform. This is illustrated by Joe Cresby's thesis. He mentions that a microblogging application called Simba, a calendar app, and a simple spreadsheet has been developed. In review for ISIP, we have multiple projects that depend on each other. Say the node labeled Project A has edges that link it to other projects that are dependencies. Maybe I wish to model value going to projects. If I choose to make a donation to Project A, but also to project that it directly depends on, I have value flowing to Project A, but also projects B, C, E, J, and H. I can also have nodes B, C, E, J, and H distributing value to their neighboring nodes, or their nodes, to what limit? I could distribute this value with trust networks developed by Ryan Fugger. This is the concept used by Ripple mentioned earlier. For the trust network, say Amy owes $4 to David, and Chris owes $3 to Bob. Also say that David does not trust Amy, but he trusts Chris. In addition, Bob trusts Amy and Chris and Chris trusts David. To have Amy owe David $4 and preserve who trusts who, Amy agrees to owe Bob $4. Bob in turn agrees to owe Chris $4. Chris then agrees to owe David $4. The net result is Amy owes Bob $4, which then becomes $3 due to a dollar difference from Bob agreeing to owe $4 to Chris and Chris being in debt to Bob for $3. Chris then owes David $4, but since Bob agreed to pay him $4, he only really owes David $3. To David, however, it seems like he is owed $4 by Chris. The net result is each person has debts and credits with only the people they trust, and the amounts do not change. As a word of note, the projects and value streams that these donations follow might be approached by a DEX or data exchange specification provided by the PLCS standard mentioned in the applications video. In addition, this DEX might be considered with Bob Hogan's recipes to describe the production of products within value streams which follow the patterns of value networks. With the visualization shown earlier, I could use images to represent specific things. I could show a particular license and perhaps whether royalties are due or not. DCC licenses Come from the Creative Commons website. One nice thing is that Hal Ibbotson et al. already developed RDF representations of them. Descriptions of the licenses are listed for reference. I could also have another license called the Free Art License. The icons come from the Open Icon Library. Thanks. As a final note, the paper on R43 polls mentions a project called Convintage that seeks to build virtual enterprises with linked data. I will not look into it deeply, but I have nothing much to say other than I remember them looking into application integration as well as mobile phone use. I also recall Tim Berners-Lee emailing Pascal Hitzler on a semantic-web W3C list saying that any linked data that is open should be called linked open data and that there was lots of money in enterprise application integration. Thanks. References include 1. 
Joe Presby, Link Data Platform for Applications, Thesis, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, MIT, May 23, 2014, HTTP colon backslash backslash dig dot csail dot mit dot edu backslash 2014 backslash papers backslash presby backslash thesis dot pdf two ryan fuger money as ious and social trust networks and a proposal for decentralized currency network protocol version 2 http colon backslash backslash archive.ripple-project.org backslash decentralized currency dot pdf no spaces between decentralized and currency three value streams november 8 2012 https colon backslash backslash github.com backslash b hogan backslash value network backslash wiki backslash value dash streams Four recipes https colon backslash backslash github.com backslash b hogan backslash value network backslash wiki backslash recipes five dex colon dash dnv colon bill of material dex dash introduction http colon backslash backslash www.plcs.org backslash plcs lib backslash plcs lib backslash data backslash contacts backslash dnv backslash dexs backslash bill of material backslash dex underscore introduction dot html six hell abelson et al CCREL colon the Creative Commons Right Expression Language version 1.0 March 3rd 2008 HPS colon backslash backslash wiki dot creative commons dot org backslash images backslash D backslash D6 backslash CCREL dash 1.0 dot PDF